Hi and welcome to this Junior Cycle Higher Level Maths Revision video. In this video, we're going to quickly revise exponential functions. So now let's talk for a second about exponential functions. Exponential um, means that we have something written with a power and our variable or our input in this case is in the power. So if you can think back to when we were working with our indices, there was three things that we used to to call the power there was it was the index it was the power or it was the exponent so the word exponential comes from the idea of there being an exponent so one thing to recognize is exponential functions start off quite flat and become very steep very quickly or the opposite is true they start off very steep and become very flat look at our graph here of f of x 2 to the power of x. So just like in our indices, we have the base, which is the big number, and we have a power. Note that they could, there could be some number put in front of the base, but in the most cases, we're going to see that as simply 1. So let's take an example of an exponential function that we've been asked to draw in the domain minus 2 is to 2. So straight away, we can recognize this as an exponential because the x or that input, or that variable is part of the power. So if you didn't realize that was an exponential, that would not matter at all because simply doing out our table and plotting our points, we should be able to draw the exponential function. So let's work with our table. So our first column is our input, that's our x's from minus 2 to 2. We then work the actual function itself. We sub in our value for our for x or our input. We get our value for y and we get our point. So now we have a series of points here. Let's work with this and let's see what the graph looks like. So we have minus 2 and 0 0.25, which is about here. It's a quarter. We have minus 1, 0 0.5. Oh, that first point didn't come out. So let's see. Minus 2, 0 0.25. Minus 1, 0 0.5. 0, 1. We then had 1, 2. We then had 2, 4. So what we get is this graph that starts going up very, very quickly like this. And it is y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Don't forget to label it each time we work. Again, like with the quadratics, it's important that you don't use a ruler when you're doing this, that this should be very much a curve. 